Now regarding Honorable Mao, that's a different logic. The logic, of, of course, Mao has got his individual qualities as a leader, which I've been watching for a long time. But more importantly, this is the fourth attempt by patriots to unite the people of Uganda politically. The first attempt was done by Ike Sazi and some other leaders that time, Dr. Barnabas Kununka and others. They formed the Uganda National Congress in 1952. And this was, the idea was to unite all the Ugandans politically. In Tanzania, they were able to achieve it with uh, Mwarimu and with Tanu. They were able to unite all the uh, Tanzanians. But here, the, the UNC soon cracked. In 1954, uh, DP, which was a, a party mainly for the Catholics, came up. So, in 1960, UPC, which was a party for Protestants, came up. Then, uh, I think 61, Kawaka Yeka, which was a party for Baganda, came up. Now, part of the problems of Uganda the suffering, the, the dying, the, the economy collapsing, we are from that, that mistake of not achieving broad unity in Uganda. Uh, and you can see this in the elections of 1962. No party could, could get majority because those groups, none of them ca is, is, is enough to, to get majority. UPC, by cheating and so on, got 37 seats outside of Uganda. But by cheating, you know, UPC was famous for that. DP got 24 outside of Uganda. Kawaka Yeka here had through intimidation, what? Had stopped other parties from operating in Uganda. So they got the 21 seats of Uganda. Now you can see that the, the, the National Assembly at that time was 82 MPs. To get a majority, you had to get at least 42. None of them could, none of them got it. Why? Because they had fragmented the people of Uganda politically. That's why they had to form the coalition, or Omkago, as they were calling it, between UPC, 37 seats, KY, 10, 21 seats, that's how they got 58 and formed the, the government. But within two years, the Mkago broke up the, the, the coalition. So, and then we went into chaos, uh, 1966 crisis, Idi Amin, 1971, the killings, the, 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 until 1986. So that was the first attempt, the, the one of uniting Ugandans, which didn't succeed by UNC. 
1979, as we were coming to get rid of, of Idi Amin with the Tanzanians, we formed UNLF, which again had the same idea as UNC, Unite All Ugandans. And we formed it. But soon it, it broke up, as, as you saw, 1980, UNLF broke up. And we had to go for the second round of fighting. Then now, so that's the second attempt which doesn't work, the UNLF. The third one is, is NRM 1986. From when, right when we were in the bush, we, we said, you people, your problems are the same. You all, are, you, are, you all lack education. You lack infrastructure. You lack health care. You lack, you lack, in, you lack income. You, you, unite. Form the resistance councils. So, in the area where we were operating, which originally had been Kabaka Yeka, and then had become DP, people joined uh, the RSCs, the resistance councils in the rural area, on a non-partisan basis. And that's how we came into, into government. And when we came into government, we formed a broad-based gov uh, government, 1986, which helped Uganda to have peace and progress. For 10 years, and then uh, we went for elections, some of the people left. Uh, but NRM continued, but there was agitation. Oh, we must have uh, uh, multipartyism. I said, okay. So I think it was 2005 when we said, okay, we are tired of uh, being harassed. And you remember what I said, those who want to go to live, you live. <laughs> that was my, my line. For, for us, we are united. We think unity is better. But the ones who want to go, so some, some left, 1990, 2005. But the majority stayed. That's why NRM has been winning on the first round. We have never had uh, less than uh, 50%, we always win almost 60, 70%. But there are some who left. Now, my strategy, so you can say the NRM uh, attempt has two thirds succeeded to, to keep the Ugandans together. But then, but then you know the I hear a rumor that some of you are Christians. It's not confirmed, but there's that rumor. You know that Jesus, with the, with the one who had 99 sheep, said, he must, I must go and look for the other one also. They, said, they told him, but why do you care about that one? You, you have 99 mm -mm, I, I, I need the other one also. So in this case, my people who left are not one, they are, they are almost 30 percent, 40 percent who left. So it has been my job now to bring them back with the idea of going back to what we didn't manage to get the, the, to, or to maintain the one of UNC, our, our people being together. So I'm very, I'm very glad that some of the people have come back. Bet Kamia from FDC. Uh, Jimmy Akena, although he has not really entered the bus properly, but uh, when you give you, when you, you give somebody your wife to look after, then 
you, 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 you trust the caretaker. Now Mao has come. So it is really a deliberate effort to unite you people so that you can solve your problems because your problems are the same. The Ugandans, they need water, they need uh, income, they need uh, roads, they need education, they need security. So what are you differing on exactly? Uh, the only difference we, we have, uh, an actual difference, is the one of opportunists uh, who, who wanted to use tribalism and sectarianism. And this is where I salute to DP in, in, because the, I was a member of, of DP myself from 1960 to 1970. I was a member of DP. Now, the Chiwanuka, although he was a Muganda, he's the one who told Mengo, said, you people, you, you Mengo, these demands of yours are not correct. Africa needs unity now. But for you, you are insisting on you know, what they were calling federal, which really meant tribal, tribal solidarity. Uh, the, the Baganda should have their, their group, these other ones like that. Uh, 